Daddy, how do you get the flame to come on? Easy. I just turn this knob, the gas flows in, I light it, and there's a flame. But where does the gas come from? Um, where does the gas come from? Need some help? I sure do. I'm drawing a blank here. It's a long story. You use gas for heating and cooking, but France doesn't produce enough of its own, so it has to import it. Qatar, for example, has a lot of gas, so it can export it to other countries. But Qatar is a long way from France, a really long way. How far is it? 5,000 kilometers. That's more than six times as far as Marseille from Paris. Wow! Gas is usually transported by pipeline. Can you do that over 5,000 kilometers? You can, but we opted for another solution. When you build a pipeline, you have to go through many countries, which means there can be geographic and sometimes political problems. It's also very, very expensive, but there's a better solution. LNG, liquefied natural gas. What do you mean liquefied? Watch. Natural gas from nearby fields is transported by pipeline to Ras Lafan, Qatar, where it's treated and cooled to minus 160 degrees Celsius in huge refrigerators called liquefaction trains. At this temperature, natural gas becomes a liquid and takes up to 600 times less space. Hello, that sounds good, but I bet it harms the ecosystem. This is my wife. Total makes very sure to mitigate the environmental impacts of its projects. For example, in 2007, we carefully transplanted nearly 4,500 colonies of coral that could have been damaged by work to expand the Ras Lafon site. Qatar gas is also involved in a number of environmental protection programs. The LNG is then loaded onto LNG carriers. These state-of-the-art vessels can keep the LNG at minus 160 degrees Celsius throughout the voyage. The LNG carriers that serve Ras Lafan are among the biggest in the world. They can carry up to 260,000 cubic meters of LNG. That's awesome. amazing. Yes, that's huge. Really huge. And what happens if one of them sinks? I mean, oil tankers have sunk. More than 45,000 voyages have been made since the 1960s. Only three LNG carriers have sunk, and they didn't lose their cargo. These ships have double hulls and are very robust. They are designed and used to extremely stringent international standards, and they're regularly inspected. On board, the LNG is securely contained in double-walled tanks that are monitored 24-7. The crew is specially trained to respond quickly to any type of incident. We're in Foscavu near Marseille. The LNG from Qatar, still at minus 160 degrees Celsius, is offloaded from the carriers and stored in giant insulated tanks. Each tank can hold 330,000 cubic meters of LNG. The LNG is then heated under pressure to regasify it. That's the gas delivered to your home and many other places in France. Foscavo can supply 8.25 billion cubic meters of natural gas a year, enough to meet one-sixth of France's natural gas demand. Global demand for natural gas is growing by nearly 3% a year. LNG means that many countries like Japan that can't be supplied by pipeline have access to this energy of the future.